Hello viewers, welcome to Console and PC Gaming and uh, today's game is going to be Transport Fever 2. Well, I thought I might start doing a series on this so um, I've played a bit of the campaign mode over the last couple of months on and off so I'm uh, ready to go into a free game mode. So we're, what we're going to do is click on free game so it's free game and then we are going to just keep uh, default here of, uh, in the middle for water, healingness and forest and go for the temperate climate we're going to have high um, number of towns medium industry uh, actually should we put yeah let's put high let's put high on everything high high so we've got more chance of um getting the right resources so we've got 16 towns 132 industries and we're on a large map you can change those as, as you like and click on next now we're going to play in europe because we're obviously in europe but you can play the usa and asia and we're going to start in 1850 on medium difficulty so click start so yeah um this has been uh out for a while now i did own um cities in motion 2 which is great and uh transport fever 2 is basically building a sort of transport empire now old classic games like transport tycoon are brilliant obviously for the day and i think there's a lot of those sort of influences in this game with some of the menus but um you can uh, make um uh, ships planes trams buses trucks railways so you just can build a hell of a lot of stuff and as you'll see um what is really good about it is actually you can actually ride on, on the vehicles as well and go through the town and see the town so which is quite good so uh we're nearly there so we are using the rtx 2080 ti i7 processor 32 gig of ram and an ssd drive so we shouldn't have any problems with frame rates or anything like that and we're just waiting for this now to load and Hurry along! Bit of a sorry about the door squeak there. Just closing the door, and uh, we're still waiting to load. Here we go at last. So welcome. So uh, we are going to first of all close that window because we don't need to see that. I'm going to have a look at the uh, town. So I think that's the towns button there, and I'm going to click on this button because what this does is actually sorts it out into size of the town. So the, why do we want to start with a big town? Well, I want to put some bus lines in and get some money off the passengers. So I'm going to start here. So I've, I sorted that by clicking this button and it's taking me to the uh, Featherstone. If I click it again, it'll sort of sort it uh, from lowest to highest. So we want highest to lowest, so click it again. And uh, we're going to click on this button and that will take us to Featherstone. Now, I don't really like the name Featherstone. So what I'm going to do is actually going to rename it. Uh, whoops, hang on a minute. What have I done? Uh, Featherstone. There you go. Click on it. Yep, there you go. So I'm going to click this little pencil icon. And I'm going to call it London. Because London's the biggest city in the UK. And we'll go into these later on. So that is our first city. So uh, what we need to do is build a bus line first. And uh, we'll do that now. Let's click over that. And if you're wondering how I look for the big cities again, I just clicked on this button. And I just clicked on the size and then it sorted it out into cities and we'll have a look at the rest later so um, what I need to do first of all I need to uh, work out where I want to build the bus line so I think a good idea would be to start here go all the way around here uh, or I could start here go there and uh, let's see where can I start if I start here I can go up there down there and back down again so that's a good idea that should cover a lot of the area and first of all i need to put down a um place where we can buy vehicles a depot so if i click on this button here which is, looks like a bus but it's also for road vehicles and then i'll click on buildings and then i need to click on this button here because that's bus stop buildings that's hang on what did i say then cargo and this is depot so we want a depot a road depot and a tram depot but we want a road depot because we can buy and sell buses and trucks there and we want to buy a bus so uh, we are going to put the depot somewhere near this edge of the city here so I press the end key keep pressing that to rotate and uh, as you see I move it around and it tells me how much it's going to cost to, to, to place so I'm going to place it uh, let's have a look oh what the hell happened there no wrong button so yet yeah, again go here double click and then just place that whoops as soon as we got a connection yeah that'll do that'll do have i done it right i don't think i have actually have i no i haven't <laughs> i'll start again let's click on that and demolish it okay click on yes and do it again and go here uh, i put it in the right place this time 
There you go. Now you can see the road is connected. That'll do. So once we've got that road connected, we can have a look at that. So let's zoom in. I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in. And if I hold the Alt key and the mouse wheel, I can sort of adjust the, the height. So there, there's our road depot. So in from here, we're going to build, buy a bus. So let's click on the road depot. Click on buy vehicles. Click on passenger because we want to buy a passenger vehicle. And we see that we've only got one option in 1850. And it's a stagecoach. Top speed 18 kilometers an hour. We can carry four passengers, and um, we'll just buy it because there's no other options. We have to buy it. Click on buy, and there it is. So it's now inside that building in there. But before he goes out to pick up the passengers, we need to put some bus stops down. So again, what we're going to do if we look at it from above, whoops, and uh, we are going to put a bus, a bus route which goes up here uh, and then down, round here down and then back so we'll start with that so first of all let's see if I can zoom in a bit closer whoops it's very fast this zoom sorry about that guys so right bus stop so here we go first of all click on this again this time click on passengers and then you get bus stop so click on this and you can see the direction of travel so we want to go we want to go this way don't we and also you notice if I move my mouse you'll see that area lights up white that's the coverage of the bus stop so we're going to be okay to sort of put that bus stop there um, so that's fine and then we need to put another bus stop here okay and then what we'll do we'll put, um, oops. We'll put another bus stop there and then one by here luck like, which covers this area oh, have I put it in the right place yes and then what we'll do, we'll just go back to the depot and put one on this side. So that's good. So now we've got our bus stops all there. You can see it's like a sort of circle. Uh, we need to tell the bus that we've got to go on, on that line. So click on this depot again. Click on our road vehicle here, which we put, bought. Click on this like arrow, line button. And we need to create a new line. So once we create the new line, we'll use the bus stops to do that. Click on new line. And here we go. So here's the bus stops we placed earlier. Click on the first one. The second one, the third one, the fourth one, and uh, didn't I, didn't I put another one in here somewhere? Actually, he's already gone. Left. I think I did, did I? I thought I could have sworn I put another bus stop. Anyway, so we started to go. Ah, yeah, this one here. So let's see if I can just do that again, and add station. There you go. So we, he's going to go all the way around and pick up the passengers. So the cool thing about this is now we can follow this guy. So if we click on this guy here, and let's rename this uh, London Line 1. So we know London Bus Line 1. one. And we'll also name the route London Bus Line 1. So click on this little pencil icon, London, London Bus, bus Line 1. So that is easier for us to know where where that what this guy is going. So if we click on this button here, that zooms us in and lets us follow him around. So we can use our camera keys there. You see he's, he, he's trundling along there. And it's good because you can also see the city you live in. And you can actually click on buildings as well and it gives you an idea who lives there. So there's four people living here. There's no unemployed people. And uh, you can click on this building. Uh, they're all residential and it tells you who lives there. It gives you an idea of sort of, sort of people on, on the route as well. I mean, uh, what else have we got? We've got some sort of buildings as well, which are, are non-residential. We've got an industrial building. And that tells us that there's a, a need for this stuff, which I think is fuel. So let's go back to our bus. And oh no, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Yeah, is that him? Yeah. We can also, what we can do is actually click this button, and this, this icon only appears when you move your mouse over the corner here, and you can actually ride on board with him. There you go. He's got no, uh, no reins for the horses there for some reason. <laughs> but um, there you go, so you can actually see, travel around the city and see it grow. There's a food store there, you see, and um, what's this? A general store. What's that? Food store. Look, he's got, even got a restaurant here you've got loads of stuff oh it's central market and there's a bus stop to be created see them so it's, it's pretty cool that you can do this I think in city skylines there's an option to actually use a mod to do this but this is built in here so this is great so um, if, what we do as well we can actually see how many passengers he's got one of four so he's already collected the passenger can we see who that is can we see yep there's somebody in there look there he is 
So he's already a passenger in there, but we are losing a bit of money. So that's cool, isn't it? I mean, it's really cool. And that will grow over time. So we've only got one bus line at the moment, because I don't think we've got high demand at the moment for another bus line. But if you also need to speed up the game, there's these buttons down here which will make it go faster, but we'll do that later on. So the next thing we need to do is we've got our line in London. And if you notice here, London has a requirement for food and for um, fuel. So we could start with uh, Supply London with these, but we need to find out where to get these from. First of all, as you can see down here, the bread um, processing, there's a processor plant here for bread. And uh, what does it need? Uh, let's see, so it needs this wheat, I think, to make the to make the um, bread. So we need to find out where the wheat is. There we go. So what we could do is get, get the wheat from the, from the farm here, bring the wheat over to the food processing plant to make the bread, and then we could take it to London to supply them with bread. Um, the fuel, I think we'll need to find some fuel source, because here is a refinery, but we need to get fuel, which is here. So the fuel will probably have to go all the way over here, and then once it's done over there, we can bring it to London. So that's the first thing, that's what we'll do, is we shall build, first of all, in this episode, we built our bus line, we're going to build the links for the food. So we need wheat from here to go to here. So how are we going to do that? Well, we could do it with trains, but it's no point because it's not that far. So what I'm going to do is put a road depot in. So what we're going to do is click on this button again and click on buildings, sorry, that one there, and um, what's it? Road depot. Here you go. Same as we use for the bus. So I'm going to put this road depot. Um, let's put it at the end here. Okay. There you go. So there's our road depot. So even though we've got a road depot, what we could have done, we could have actually gone over to London and built and bought another road vehicle from there, which is cool. You could have done that to save money. But I think I may as well keep these separate for now to make it easier to look at what we're doing. So I need to buy a cargo vehicle. So I'm clicking on the depot. I'm going to buy a vehicle. And this time I'm going to buy cargo. And we've got one again. And click on buy. So we've got our own vehicle here, which is ready to collect wheat. But now we need to build, like we did with the bus stops, but not a bus stop, a truck stop. So the truck stops is the same thing as rather than using picking the passengers and dropping them off, it'll pick up cargo and drop them off. So what we need to do is uh, go here and uh, click on this button, and sorry, not this button, this button here, and click on the bus stop again. And instead of the bus stop, you can pick um, no, not that one, is cargo here. So that's cargo with a little box, truck station. So you see there's another one here called a small truck stop to unload cargo. Um, but it doesn't allow you to load. So what we could do is put a truck stop in London uh, to unload the cargo. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here. And what you can see now is you see it's gone white now, the uh, the, the area. That means that it will, it will pick up the cargo from there, which is what we want. So let's just let's, oh, we could put it up there so we don't remove anything like farms. Okay, so now we've built our our cargo stop. So what I'm going to try and do is, because I only need to drop off wheat here, we'll try what I, we just looked at before. It might be wrong, but let's try it. So let's put a, a truck stop here. So let's go back here. Uh, it's all chucked up to unload cargo. So here we go. Let's zoom in a bit. So he's going to go here to unload cargo. I'll do. So that's great. So... Um, Oh no no, we we don't want to do that, do we? Because he's got to take that. We're in the wrong place for a start. So let's let's give it that a second. Now we need to go here. So now we need to actually load cargo because we have to load the bread. So I beg your pardon. If we were just dropping off wheat here, that's fine. But we need to actually load the breads back up to London. So we're going to build another truck stop here. And uh, there we go, truck station. I do apologise. So here we go, truck station. See so it go white? That means it'll collect it from there. And now once we've done that, we need to set up a route. So let's click on the garage. Let's click on our vehicle here. And then we can do it this way. We can either create a new line and assign him to the line. Or we can click on our vehicle and then click this button and click a new line. So we've got only two stations to add. That one, London East, and that one, London South. Okay, so 
Oh, no, I see. You cannot connect all stations. Yeah, that's true. You cannot connect all stations. Uh, because I think we need to build a road. Yeah, because there's, there's a dirt road there, but I would have thought you would have used that one. So it looks like we might have to build a road. Um, but then I would have thought you could have gone... You would have gone up this road, but obviously not. So, if we... Yeah, that is on correctly. That's good. And... Uh, this is on correctly as well. So, as you see, he's where is he going? Because I thought he said he couldn't connect the line. Uh, well, it is actually doing it. Oh, that's funny. It says cannot connect stations, but he, where is he going there? Okay, let's build a little road anyway, just in case he can't. So, uh, I'm going to build a road by clicking on this button. Click on, on streets. And let's just build a small country road. So click on that button. Uh, we don't want to do that, do we? Uh, the reason why I didn't want to do that, it will build a tunnel and that's expensive. So hopefully now... It's saying it's not connected to the street network. Ah, that is why. So yes, we haven't connected it properly. Ah, poo. Right, let's do it again then, guys. Let's uh, just demolish that. Yep, so that was a big boo-boo that I made. So let's go back here, buildings, and back here, uh, cargo, click on this one. And this time, let's make sure that we connect it properly. That's better. So, okay, so let's go back to this line. Uh, yeah, that's already connected. Now it's okay. You see it's connected. So we didn't even need to build that road, but anyway, it might come in handy later. So this guy, uh, where is he? This guy here, let's go and have a look at how he's walking down the road. He's now taking um, stuff, hopefully taking stuff. No, he hasn't. Okay, he's, he's not taking any uh, anything there. Why is that? <laughs> he's supposed to be taking the wheat from here. But he's not. <laughs> okay, so perhaps the wheat is not ready. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one wheat there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's wheat here. There's nine, but he's obviously gone the wrong way. So let's tell him to come back. So let's click on him there and tell him to go back to depot. Okay, and that means he'll go back to the depot. Let's speed it up. There he is. He's turned around because he obviously left, and the, and the, the wheat was produced as he as he left probably. But let's uh, ride on board. He's a bit faster now than he is. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you can also watch him on the outside. Look, Benny Hill is there. Have you seen Benny Hill show? Probably banned in the UK now, but. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, if you look at the end of a Benny Hill show, there's always really fast characters moving around. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, you can see now there's two wheat ready waiting for him. So he's going to collect the wheat. Because there's the farmer. Look, which make the farmer here, the farmer Giles, which makes all the wheat. And he's going to take that wheat. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Hello? Oh, right, yeah, he's uh, he's gone back in now. So let's assign him to line one again. Actually, I want to call that. Um, uh, wheat cargo, cargo truck. Uh, and uh, where's he coming from? London East. London East wheat cargo truck. So there we go. And uh, we're going to call this line London East to London South. To London South cargo. So we know that it's for cargo. Right, so that means it's easier for us to know where he's going, and uh, let's click on him here. Now he's loaded with four wheat, as you can see. So he's off, and uh, Ala Benny Hill, he's uh, rushing through this. Let me look around the countryside. What do you think of this, uh, Luca Whitey? What do you think of this game, Luca Whitey? Look at YT, he's got a channel where he specializes in Fortnite, Minecraft and all sort of games, so check him out. He's a he's an up and coming junior a YouTuber. So there he is, he's on his way. And we're speeding up a little bit just so we can get there a bit quicker. So once he gets which road did he take actually? Yeah, he's taken that road. Is that he's gonna take the new road? Yeah he has. So he's taken the new road that we built by accident. But there you go. So, 
once he delivers that there, they'll make the bread. And then our next thing is we have to deliver the bread to London. So in that case, we might be able to use a truck stop. So okay, so let's well, while he's doing that, let's build another truck stop in a cargo stop in London. So you can see, let's have a look at where they need this bread in our city. Uh, London. No, so here we go. Build a truck stop. So if we build a truck stop here. Ah, uh, now you can see where they need the bread. So the bread's needed in this area mainly. So we are going to put a truck stop. Uh, you can see the bread. Um, yeah, okay. The bread's needed mainly by here. So we could put a truck stop here, and it'll. Uh, maybe you should put it there. There we go. That's a better. Uh, yeah, that's better. We'll put a truck stop here. So what we're going to do then is create another line where the, the bread gets delivered. So let's do that now. Click on line, new line. Click on that one, London South to London itself to Mill. Uh, of course, Mill Road where they make the bread. So now we've done that, we need to really buy another vehicle. So I'm going to buy one from this depot. Click buy vehicle, another another cargo vehicle, right? And I'm going to assign him to the um, line one, which is not going to be called line one in a minute because we are going to uh, change line. So here we go. There he is. So let's call this guy uh, London London Bread. London London Bread 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 Truck. Right. So that means we know that he's going on that route, and uh, the line is going to be called. London uh, Mill Road, London South to Mill Road, London South, Lond London South to Mill Road, London. That's easier for us to remember what everything is. So uh, oh, here he goes. So he's going to pick up the bread. Let's see if he's going to do that. So he's got four cargo slots. And oh, no, he hasn't picked any bread up. So, they're still making the bread. So, production is only two. So, we've got to wait a little bit longer until that bread's ready. The way he's going off there, because he's got no bread. <laughs> so, let's have a look at this bread factory. And see. So, yeah, we've got stored zero of consumption four. So, we still need to wait. And there we go. Featherstone Farm is shipping 200. Uh, wheat to this place here in um, in uh, whatever it was called, I can't remember what it was called, now, Featherstone. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's go and check out on the bus. So the bus was picking up the passengers, and uh, where is he gone? Is there he is? Is that the bus? Oh, there's two passengers waiting. Look, so the passenger um, side of the business is working quite well. There you go, passengers waiting at the bus stop. So, uh, London bus line, let's see what he's doing. Uh, he's very busy, he's got four people, so we might need to create another another line for that. Uh, let's have a look, what's his finances are like? So, income is more than running costs, which is good. So he's making us a bit of money. Um, perhaps we need to make another London like, bus line there, because it looks like there's a few queues, people are waiting. So that's good. Um, so what we're gonna do is just Check. Um, I tell you what we'll do. We'll make another. While we're waiting, we'll make another line for the bus, and we'll. Yeah, we'll just make it on the same route. So click on here, buy a vehicle, uh, passenger. Click buy, and let's assign him to London Bus Line One as well. So um, he's now going to collect some more passengers. Oh shit! What's he called now? The other guy I can't remember. So there's a vehicles, lines, London Bus Line One. Maximum waiting time three minutes. Perhaps we need that to increase that. Where's he gone? Is this him? I can remember there's a vehicle button somewhere. Um, rail road. Is that vehicles? Vehicle manager. Um, road. It's not actually searching for it. Okay, forget that for a minute. I'll go back and do that later. So uh, let's have a look at our cargo guy. So he is here. There you go. Uh, what's he doing? He, he's, he, why is he not collecting stuff? 
He doesn't seem to be bringing any wheat here, does he? Or is he still not? Might something going ro quite wrong there. There's loads of wheat here. 116. But he's not picking it, taking it over there for some reason. What the hell is he doing? Oh. He's not taking no bread because there's no bread there. But this guy. Oh, now he's got the wheat, like four. Just took a little while. So he's got four wheat, so hopefully we can make some bread. Let's be, let's be, he's actually been sped up a little bit. So he's taking the wheat to the food processing plant. There he is. And let's hopefully he'll drop some food there, uh, wheat there, to make the bread. Come on, move it. So like it's stored zero. Is that going to go up now? Yes. So there we go. Now that he's dropped the wheat off, this uh, there it is. There I think he's going to start making the, the, the bread, and uh, hopefully we will see some progress with that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, where's this vehicle going? This guy, London, best line one. Um, London best line one. Oh. Oh, we've got our three million pounds, a bit okay. So he's still collecting passengers, and where's the other bus? Where's the other vehicle? Hello? Uh, no, it's in the game. We've got three point five million dollars or pounds. Um, I've lost my other bus. Is he still on? Is he still in the bus depot? I wonder. Oh no, there he is. London Best Line 1 2, so let's call this London Best Line 1 as well. London Best Line. Can I call him the same? No. I spelled bus wrong. So there you go. So Best Line 1, there's two vehicles. Oh, I called it, I called it Londob. I'm not sure if he's going to let me call it the same. Yeah, he has. So we've got four people in there as well. Yes, Lord Luca. Uh, I mean, Luca YT. So, Good. So here we go. Uh, so the the passenger side is doing well. Let's see how the bread side's doing. And we've got some bread here now being produced. No, we still got two. Is this is this the guy with the bread? He's only got one bread. So he has got one bread. He's going to deliver that to London because this pr processing plant seems to take a long time to make the bread. But he has got one bread, you can see. So he's, he's off to London. And uh, let's see how the road's like. So we're making a loss on this line, you see, at the moment because obviously he's only delivering one loaf of bread. <laughs> so um, it's a bit unfortunate that at the moment. But we have to wait until the, until the production gets up to speed. And this, uh, let's have a look at this guy coming into London now. So he's coming into London. So let's have a look at the, the, how, he, how he gets there. And, oh my god, there's loads of people there. The bus stop. I think I need even more bloody bus lines. Bus lines. Because have a look at this. Right, let's just go by here. I mean, I can click off the guy. Look at that. Bus. I think I need more buses. Let's create more buses. Oh, geez, it's very, very popular bus service, isn't it? So let's click on this here and click on buy vehicle. And let's do another stagecoach, buy. And uh, let's click that London Road Depot. Yeah, okay. And what we're going to do is assign that guy. Huge, huge demand. Whoops. Um, where's, it, where's it gone? London. Where's it gone? Did I put it in the right place? I think it's. Oh, it's not in there. Oh, no vehicles. Was it in the right place? Oh, I could have sworn I bought a, 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 a bus then. Now, did I? Buy a vehicle. Oh, perhaps I didn't. Buy. Passenger, yeah. Oh, there's another passenger vehicle. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's not the passenger vehicle. So that's good. So 
Where's he gone? He's got no vehicles. That's weird. Is this a bug? Have I pressed the wrong button? Ah, I know why. The filter was on. Never mind. That I was searching for a vehicle, so it doesn't matter. We're going to put this this guy to London bus line one, and this guy. So um, it doesn't matter. We got four four um, coaches now. So let's have a look if this guy is going to relieve the congestion. There we go. Look at that. So many people waiting at the bus stop, and we've got four passengers in there and passengers in there. So our passenger business is doing extremely well. I, I think, though, as well, if we look, there's even more people waiting. So I think we're going to have to put even more lines in here. Um, let's buy some more vehicles, guys. So let's buy another vehicle. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy three. Okay. And let's assign them all to the same line. And... There you go. So I know it's the same line, but it's covering most of the city. So all these buses now, let's see how many people they're collecting. Oh my god, they're, they're still full. So hopefully, <laughs> we might need some more. So all these buses, yeah, he's making a profit now, look. And uh, yes, yeah, great. So now we want to also see uh, London. Um, we have supplied them with one loaf of bread. So we might need to... Um, we might need to sort of uh, increase the trucks on this route to supply bread to London because he, they're taking a hell of a long time. And uh, that's the fuel refinery. Keep going there by accident. So where were we? Where were we? Uh, food factory. This is it. So here we go. So there's four being consumed there. It's not actually producing much, is it? We've got lots of wheat there, so uh, perhaps we need to create another. Let's create another um, truck, which will take wheat there. Because uh, hang on, there's there's lots of wheat being sort of bottlenecked here. So let's buy a vehicle. Let's buy a pa cargo vehicle and buy that, and assign him to uh, London East South uh, Cargo, so he can do that and bring some more well-needed wheat down to the um, food processing factory, because. There's wheat waiting to be delivered here, and there you go, he's picked it up. So, that's cool. Now, what we need to do, I'll probably do this. Uh, um, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, I'm going to rename the vehicles, but I think I'll do that in the next, I'll, I'll do that off offline so you don't have to bore you guys. So, that is it. At the moment, that's the first episode. So what have we done? We've created a successful bus route so far into, um, into, into London, and uh, it's thriving with passengers so if we uh if we look around and see that this is still growing and we still got lots of passengers there so we're gonna have to build some more vehicles here and then we're gonna have to look at another town as well and start doing um the same in the next biggest town so okay i'll, I'll leave this video here and then i'll rename a few of these lines and i'll come back and uh, we'll carry on with the empire growing thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time